So uh, again, uh, welcome everyone uh, for uh, this particular session on cloud computing. And uh, Speed for Career is the company that uh, I have co-founded with one of my partners, uh, whose name is Samrat. I believe you all have received an email uh, from uh, Samrat uh, regarding this um, webinar. Uh, so now, uh, as you all know this, uh, this session, uh, is about uh, cloud computing. Okay, so uh, just to take one or two minutes time, uh, I just want to give you a brief idea about what we are and what we are doing uh, so that you will have a familiarity with our uh, myself as well as to our brand. So objective, main objective of this particular webinar is to helping you uh, to choose the right career path in our cloud computing industry. Obviously, you are here. That means that you are interested or you are actually working in cloud industry. Some people, they want to have some advanced knowledge. Maybe they have just started working in cloud computing industry. So all these things we are going to have is a series of webinars. Let me tell you one thing that it is a series of webinars. We are going to have webinars about cloud computing. Uh, regular on regular basis every week, every week so we are going to notify you and you can come up with all your queries that you want to ask us or uh, our Vishal sir who is the presenter who is um, the expert over here in cloud computing so we are going to be here on the regular basis uh, to help you to have more knowledge on cloud computing and cloud computing industry from the career point of view so Yes, uh, this company's name is Speed for Career, and um, we have founded this one year back, especially this e-learning section uh, we have founded um, one year back. And um, currently, uh, we have the following courses that we offer uh, from our uh, platform, e-learning platform, cybersecurity, Android app development, Oracle OS, cloud computing, obviously, machine learning, web application development, big data, and digital marketing. And... Uh, the most important thing is the qualification of the instructor. Even uh, today's presenter or instructor, uh, Vishal Dave, uh, you need to know that who we are and what are the qualification we have to share knowledge uh, with all of you. So uh, when we established this company, uh, we had a specific uh, you know, rules and uh, regulation that uh, all, all of our instructors should have the following two at least following two criteria that is 10 years of industry experience or worked in a fortune 500 company iit alumni or attached with iit or iim um, must have or at least have a phd degree or successful entrepreneurs in the subject domain so uh, today vishal sir uh, he has more than 10 years of experience he is attached to iim kolkata and he is also a successful entrepreneur in the subject domain and uh, in for other courses, uh, we have instructor instructor who are directly or indirectly uh, related to this particular companies or uh, institute like IIT Kharagpur. Uh, our Android instructor is from IIT Kharagpur. I am Kolkata. We have people American Express and Memphis University. Uh, that is my contribution. I have worked in American Express as a digital marketer and I regularly take um, uh, classes for Memphis University where my specialization is social media analytics. I am a like, data loving person. So an Exchange India and I think KPIT people who are from Bangalore, uh, you know about this company Exchange as well as KPIT. We have instructor from Dale as well as uh, <coughs> University of Mississippi. Sorry. Uh, so uh, our presenter, let me introduce you to uh, our presenter for today, Mr. Vishal Dave. And he definitely he is going to give you some more idea about uh, this particular session. And um, uh, it's just, just a brief idea about him. And uh, definitely he is going to uh, take the details from here. And uh, we have a recruitment partner whose name is Hyatel. And uh, we are connected uh, to more than 3,000 recruiters uh, from uh, our uh, recruitment partner, Hyatel, in various uh, technologies and, and in various uh, sectors of the industry with uh, companies like Amazon, Adobe, Mintra, Walmart. We have Flipkart also. So uh, this is the small introduction of what we are and what we are doing. And uh, without any further ado, uh, I would like to uh, give this uh, you know, platform to 
uh, Vishal sir, um, who is the main uh, hero of this moment. And uh, Vishal sir, I'm just going to give you the admin. Mm -hmm. uh, just once again. Uh, sir, uh, please uh, take it away from your side. Good evening, friends. My voice is audible. Yeah, cool. Great. So trust me, today's session would be more of an open forum where I'm not going to bore you with the usual stuff of cloud computing, but we'll understand what is the basics of cloud computing and how it works and what are the different deployment models. So in fact, in case if you have any query, please raise your hand and we can go ahead with the queries. Trust me, I would like to get more queries rather than explaining you the basics of cloud computing and everything. So let's start with the basics. I'm sure we all use cloud in our everyday life, right? Can we have a vote? Like, do you use cloud in your everyday life knowingly or unknowingly? Yes, we all use it. Great. 95% of people use it even if they know or don't know. So when we, great. All of us just use cloud, right? Cool. So when we speak of cloud computing, what exactly is cloud computing? Well, we can say that cloud computing is the world of files, applications, and computing resources offered to users via the internet. Basically, any type of web service or app that is accessed online in the cloud. To start with, online storage. When we speak of online storage, like I'll share you a story with one of my friends. He's working in a cloud computing company with Amazon. So I asked him, what do you do? He told me, Vishal, I work in a cloud computing company. So is it similar to iCloud? He was a bit confused and he said no. So basically cloud computing itself is a term where people are not aware of what exactly is cloud computing and how it works. So they have a different version and different stories for each and every one. So to start with, when we speak of storage, what people really understand is, is cloud. But cloud is apart from iCloud. Yeah, you can use it. So apart from iCloud, we have Flickr, Dropbox, OneDrive, each and every part is of a cloud. So we speak of a cloud computing as in which is connected to the remote computer and can be accessible from anywhere we want to. Yes, social media is also part of cloud computing. We can consider social media the cloud-based communication method where we connect with our friends, Instagram, Facebook, photos, we upload documents. Even shopping has changed. Online shopping is also part of cloud computing where the data is stored on a cloud or a remote server. In fact, billing, banking, shopping, everything has made a 360 turn. Initially, if you wanted to pay someone, we had to make a check and deposit it. It would take around three days to receive the amount. But now you have a net banking account, log on to your net banking account and you can just send him in a moment, right? I'm sure everyone has using and communicating this form of cloud computing, right? Guys, are you using? Yeah, great. Anybody who has not even used similar format as of now or is not even aware of cloud computing or is new to cloud computing? No. Okay, good. Okay. So let's start with the basics. Let's understand what are the benefits of cloud computing. Assuming you want to, you are a startup and you want to host an app. So ideally, when you want to host an app, you would require a web server. Firewall, 24 hour internet connection. And since we all know that startup has a little amount of money, so ideally to start up with the cost or a infrastructure cost, it would be very, very difficult to understand how to do it. Yes, you can use a cloud computer to avoid the computer cost. No. Okay. Well, improved performance. We can use, we can have an unlimited storage or unlimited memory when and where required. Well, at times, if you don't want to purchase legal softwares, you can hire it as a rent on a cloud also. Reduce software costs. Instant software updates. No need to worry for updating your software. It will be automatically done from your panel. Well, everything has a disadvantage. So let's under see what are the disadvantages of cloud. Well, we would require a constant internet connection if you want to connect to cloud. If you don't have internet connection, the cloud will not work. And yes, we need a good connection. I'm sure each and everyone has started getting at least 5 to 10 Mbps. In fact, our government is also helping us to get more bandwidth. Guys, if you have any queries, you can put in on the chat box. At times, even if you have a better connection, 
the cloud computing might be slow or a cloud server which you are working might be slow it needs to be optimized and when you're putting your data on a cloud it's always a risk that if your data is on a third party server whether it is safe or not so who would take care of the confidentiality part and at times if you don't keep a backup of your data there is the probability that data might get lost so now coming down to the basic concepts of cloud cloud can be deployed in three four manners and we have different service models also so let's see what are the deployment models the first one is private cloud what exactly is private cloud where it is a customized storage for a single customer or an organization when we speak of a public cloud this is similar to an email address or i drop or dropbox and when we have a community cloud what is community cloud well a service or particular is available for each and every one in the organization or a group and then we have a deployment where both public and private are merged which is a part of our hybrid cloud let's see some examples or for the cloud service models we have basically categorized in three models one is saas software as a service the other one is pass platform as a service and the last but not the least iaas infrastructure as a service so how it works basically i as i said initially a startup community wants to host an app so they will go for an iaas where they can resource or rent a server and can drop their app and work in similarly they can also use this as a pass also where this is dedicated for developers they can create their own api and we speak of crm and other things we use the saas models so guys any queries on this as of now or if you have any queries i would like to take queries could you please open in full screen okay yeah sure guys any queries as of now for the models or anything because then i'll show you a live deployment of a hypervisor using esxi where we can install an operating system as per our requirement great so well when we speak of cloud virtualization is a part which needs to be taken care of so basically how it works we have a hardware where we deploy an hypervisor for example we have esxi vmware zen which helps us to deploy other vms on a hardware so i'm going to show you a live installation of a vm using an hypervisor which is esxi other commercial cloud offerings are amazon web web service go grid again microsoft azure and google has come up with the web services so they are in direct competition with amazon web services okay hypervisor well hypervisor is a platform which helps us to deploy a software or vmware on a hardware i will show you the detail basically what happens is when we speak of cloud computing we have a hardware so we deploy hypervisor which is a virtual machine monitor vmm this helps us to ensure that the firmware and hardware where the virtual machine runs it works smoothly so these are the basic cloud taxonomy where we can see that different modules as per the services are available for example in iaas we have amazon s3 amazon ebs ctera for computing we have ec2 mozo elastra which are the common and famous ones services management we have cohesive ft vilastic dynet for cloud servers we have globus toolkit data synapse software as a service we have billing model financial legal and each and everything can be deployed on a cloud to start with word excel the basic applications also can be deployed on cloud we can use tally basic applications like billing softwares can be used on our cloud crm which is commonly used document management system chat then we can also use amazon other services amazon s3 which is used for unlimited storage the amount we use we have to pay for that pay as per our requirement the best part of cloud is the flexibility then we have ec2 where we can create a customized vm as per our requirement so guys any queries as of now or i'll show you a demo live demo of esxi good to go sir good so what i am done is i'll be using it on my so can you see my screen yes sir yeah sure okay how easy is microphone from the well it is first of all we need to understand that what we want to migrate it will depend upon the application storage databases 
because each and every one has a different format. So if we have a complete idea that what exactly needs to be migrated, we can plan out accordingly. There is a planning strategy for everything. But Amazon has a different filing system. Azure has a different filing system. Any more queries before I start the deployment? No, sir. Okay, shall I start? Yes, sir. Yeah, okay, great. So what I've done is I have already deployed ESXi on my physical server. So to access my physical server, I would require a vSphere client. So I have this vSphere client installed on my system. I have an IP address which I will access my server. So what I'm doing is I'll just use it. Well, this will allow me to connect to my ESXi hypervisor and where I can create new virtual instances as per my requirement. We can categorize this as a public cloud also public cloud where we have public as well as private where we can deploy as per our requirement. And this is basically a shared thing. So I have this connection and have so many accounts already created. So let's start with the basics. We understand what is the configuration of the server? Yeah, this is HP Proliant 16 CPU AMD Opteron. I'm sure you are able to see the screen. Friends, yes, are you sir. able to see the screen? vSphere client screen? Yeah. Yes. All right. So as we can see that this is of 32 GB. This is a non SSD 1 TB storage. We have a license for cloud suit 6 enterprise for vSphere. Uh, local processor 16. So now coming down to virtual machines currently as we can see that there are eight virtual machines installed in this one two three four five and we can also see that what are the resources they are using we have a provision space and use space and accordingly we can see that one of the machine is using the maximum AM which has been utilized apart from AJ we can also check what are the resource utilization or allocations we can track of the performance that which operating system or virtual instance is working accordingly or using the maximum resources configurations well from here we can completely configure the okay this is giving me a warning sign we can check our processor memory storage has a data store where we deploy or install so we just check what we have I'll browse the data store for you. See, you can see that there are so many instances. And we also have one ISO of in 2012. From here, you can directly upload a file or download a file from the server. At times, this might be used to download the VM instances if we are having some issues with one of the virtual systems. And you can also move data store from one location to other location if you are in a part of a data center having a complete access to the other systems. So let's start the deployment. It's similar to VMware. I'm sure most of you have heard of and use of VM. So just we have to create a new virtual machine. Just take time. So this will give you the options for typical and custom. Custom is for advanced users where you can categorize what are the resources to be used. We'll use typical for the session. Cloud demo. See currently I have 300 GB space left so I can use it. I'll be deploying Windows. We can use any OS we want. Next. How many NIC you want to use? By default, it takes 40 GB. I'll just increase it to 60 GB. Next. Before starting the VM, we need to edit the virtual machines. So I'll just edit the virtual machine. Continue. So it has taken 4 GB of RAM. Let's see. DVD. Okay. 
since we want to install windows 2012 we have to share the iso file then only it will be able to boot so what i do is i'll go to the storage and select the path of iso file this can be any os windows 7 10 as per your requirement and we have to enable connect at power on. license for the software installed in the cloud has to be managed by the organizing renting the cloud or will be taken care by well it depends on what you are giving in our case it is managed by us but usually the person who is giving rent has to go for the licensing Because what ideally what happens is these servers are being rented from service provider or data centers like Rackspace. So what they do is they provide a complete bare metal server. So bare metal server we have to install hypervisor and get the licenses accordingly, or we can also get it for rent also, and then can plan out accordingly. So in this case we have used 2012, and I'll just select connect at power on. I'll finish this. So, as we can say that this is in process. Uh, Vishal, I have one question here. Yeah, right, sir. Yeah, uh, I have a little confusion here. Uh, this uh, you connected to see you are in Mac now. You created right. a Windows ten uh, virtual machine here. Right. Okay. What is this one seventy eight mission? Is the mission in the cloud? One seventy eight is uh, my server's IP address. Okay. So there you are creating another virtual machine now. Your voice is not audible. Can you put your query in the chat box so I can, you know, I can help you out with that. Okay. Yeah, because your voice is breaking. Yeah. Is it fine now? So meanwhile, when we start the installation, I can take the queries. Right. Guys, if you have any queries, you can put in which system is in cloud. Uh, basically, this is hypervisor installed on my bare metal server. Okay, <laughs> guys, I'll just share you what I have actually done. I'll just share. I am using a Mac where I have used a parallels. In parallels, I have installed Windows and then I have installed the VM Sphere client. Using my VM Sphere client, I am trying to connect to the server. I hope that's okay now. This is basically default installation process. Any other queries? So I am installing Windows 2012 R2. This is the 60 GB space. Yes, we have to install hypervisor on a physical machine. Then only we can install the. What is the scope? Okay. Well, we have one query that what is the scope of IT engineer? Well, to start off, each and everyone is shifting to cloud, whether it is as an infrastructure or as a website or as an app. And currently the resources which we have are not compatible to handle the pressure. So to start with basic level, we have lots of queries and generation, but we would require help for deploying services like Amazon and Azure. We would require a trained manpower unless and until we don't have a deployment partner. It is very difficult to manage the cloud. So definitely there's a scope for developers. Any other queries? You're creating Windows VM in your system. Where is the cloud concept comes here? No, I'm not installing on my. I'll just show I'll. I'm sure you guys have a confusion. I'll show you see what I'm doing. What exactly I'm doing. See what I've done is I'm using a MacBook. 
where I have a Mac OS. I have installed a Parallels and in Parallels, I have installed a Windows OS. In the Windows OS, what I have done is I'm using a vSphere client to connect to my ESXi. So I connected to my ESXi and then I'm connecting to or creating the new instance, not on my local computer. Okay now, Shekhar? Okay, Smita has a query that how can, how many VMs can be created or deployed in VMware? Is it also depends on the rental price or a licensee per person can create any number of VMs? Well, it completely depends upon the hardware which you have. In my case, I have 32 GB. So what I can plan is I can create at least five instances of 4 GB for an optimum performance. And of course, yes, licensing would depend upon what are the services you require as well as the Windows licensing needs to be purchased. Okay, ESXi. Anybody knows ESXi? What exactly is ESXi? Guys, a surprise gift for you if you answer that. No, nobody knows. Okay. Well, what we do is when, Sir Bird, you just created 60 GB. Yes. See, basically, See, what I have done is I have a 1 TB storage and a 32 GB. So it's up to me that if I can assign as per my requirement, I can assign 100 GB as well as I can depend 60 GB also. So just to show a demo, I installed on a 60 GB VM. Well, what ESXi is? ESXi is again a hypervisor. What happens is when we purchase a server or rent a server from the rack space or a data center, they gives us a bare metal hardware. And bare metal hardware, we won't be able to directly install or uh, any virtual operating system. So what we need to do is we have to install vSphere ESXi. It's a part of VMware bouquet. This is one of the most leading hyper hypervisor for the bare metal here, which can be directly installed on the physical server. Yes, Smita, if you have any other query, I hope your query was solved. Your purpose was done. Currently, what I have done is I'm using my private cloud. Yes, I would say basically this is my private cloud, but I'm using a hybrid option. I'm using it for my clients also. So I'm sharing resources. So this can be taken as a hybrid model also. What I do is like I have a physical server where I deploy different OSs and give it to my individual client. And I also use for my personal app hosting. Yes, we do provide training on Azure and beginners. Well, trust me, when we speak of Azure and Amazon, both are at par, but at times the critical aspect is the way things are implemented. And currently we don't have a manpower who are capable enough to handle those servers or identify our critical. Like for example, if you have to deploy, thanks for answering. Okay. Guys, it will take time. Meanwhile, any other questions or specific questions related to this would take around 20 minutes. So once this is done, what we can see is I'll just show you that how it works. Once this is done, we can directly access the console. Basically what happens is once the installation is completed, we need to install VMware tools and give the live IP so as to access the server from a remote location. I'll show you how. Assuming we have this server whose IP address is 69.30.225.213. So now if I want to access it, I have to go to run, type mstsc, and I have to input the IP address. 69.30.225.213. As so one it is done, it will ask for the credentials and we are logged on to the server. This will be as good as Windows 2000 server. So sales form are all major cloud companies. How can we decide for which is the best one? Good question. See, uh, Salesforce is a CRM, right? VMware and AWS are again the technology partner or which provides the platform on a cloud, including the Google also. Google has started providing this. So now you have to understand that which app you want to host. 
if you are using an sql based or a proprietary microsoft our recommendation would be microsoft azure and now what you can do is each and everything has to be planned what app and what exactly is to be done so when you want to deploy you need to understand which platform is required and best suited for but each and every one has its own positive pros and cons vmware is used for a virtualization platform so each and every one has a different platform for you microsoft will never use vmware because they have their own proprietary virtualization software so each cloud is good in its own way right but again it will depend on what exactly is your requirement for that time it might be good for a person who has a back office work but it's not good for the high end resources so you need to identify first that what is your requirement then only you can plan out because planning is very critical yes no i am demoing on my private cloud uh, just for your information amazon gives a one year free subscription with a minimal package so what you can do is you just need to register with aws and you can get it for uh, one year free same as for google as well as azure they offer a minimum package for free for testing so you can use as per your requirement vmware and others are used in context where private cloud is there so it would require a lot of tech stuff so we see what is our scenario guys yeah, any other queries so can you use lip also create yes you can yes there are rack space is there godaddy is there google has come up with their new cloud venture if you want a step by step guide to deploy cloud on your local or create your own private cloud just drop me your email id and i'll drop you the link so you can use it accordingly or if you want to register with aws i can share you the guide which which we have so you can plan out accordingly then will it not be hindrance for a normal processor see if you have 4 gb ram on your laptop so when we speak of a virtualization you have to provide a certain ram so if you share it's more of a sharing resources so if you don't have resource in abundance you won't be able to use it accordingly so in your case assuming i have an i5 machine with 4 gb ram i can use a vmware and then i can use the virtual instance for 2 gb rather than 3 gb those who want to create their own cloud they can just google own cloud which is basically an open source software that helps us to build so if the cloud must stop working that what will happen will it still hold the resources see in this case when we speak that what crashes if your operating system crashes the data will be there which can be retrieved using a recovery cd or a recovery thing but you need to take care of your system administrator the best part is whenever you are opting for a cloud services ensure that you are adequately backed up because if you don't have a backup then there is the problem and there is always a data dr plan involved so you can take care of your system admin or if you are the system admin just ensure that you are planning accordingly you guys can use own cloud where you can create your own software like dropbox and create your own storage system uh, uh hi this is karmakar it's a small request to everyone uh, like if you can put your chat to everyone instead of uh, messaging it privately to vishal sir then all the participants right. can uh, right. see your uh, question okay so there is a everyone and individual name is here so please select everyone and put your query over there so everyone can you know right. see the uh, question so guys any more queries uh vishal sir uh, actually yeah. when I, i was having discussion uh, with uh, many people yesterday uh, some of them has a question like uh, means if they want to have a career in cloud computing means is there any specific job roles maybe like for aws they need to have uh, they can have particularly for aws or azure or ibm how they can know pursue their career in uh, uh, cloud computing so basically the majority currently which services are used for amazon so what you can do is you can go up for amazon certificates yeah, so what happens is amazon provide certificates which will help you to become a cloud architect so you can identify and plan the complete implementation part which is very important the reason is most of the cloud installation fails is because that is not adequately planned 
so what happens is people struggle with the resources so you can completely plan and architect the cloud service requirement then you can plan out accordingly so aws would be the right certificate if you want to start with okay so uh, how many That's types right. of uh, like job roles are there like uh, architect is there then cloud engineer cloud engineer cloud implementation okay uh, of course there is again a junior support engineer which take care of the basic requirement and basic support okay so uh, everyone uh, know if you want to have a direct communication you can open your uh, you know, computer channel and unmute yourself and qu ask the question directly please make sure that the background noise should be less so because everyone is having headphone so it might cause some problem nikhil has a query that is it useful or helpful with ethical hacking yes see when we speak of cloud computing we have or we can say that we have an os on another or a remote network so each and every os is vulnerable so the security would be the major aspect and we have often seen that the servers have been compromised to start with aadhaar data geo data hbo data everybody was part of cloud and they were hacked so ethical hacking is again the crucial part which needs to be taken care of uh sir uh, uh, i also had links like uh, nikhil has given a very good question uh, mm. i think i was when i was having a discussion with nikhil or another person uh, yesterday he told that uh, like if i want to have both the knowledge from cyber security as well as the cloud computing because it's at some mm. point this two uh, industry is merged somewhere all right uh, yes uh, so uh, if i want to have the knowledge for both the industries or both the technologies and uh, then mm -hmm. what should be the like you know optimum uh, like what should be my uh, goal means if i okay. want to learn from cloud computing aws do i have to go mm -hmm. for the neco network security or information security or you know secure programming what is the match between these two particular yes. industry basically he has to start with a basic certificate for ceh okay for security okay and going for the cloud part there are two options one is called self learning which we all do that but that would be only useful when that has been taken care by the adequate certificate so what you can do is you can get a certificate from aws aws provides so many certificates for cloud okay so you can plan out accordingly and combination of both is required then he may be opt for the network administrator as well as system administrator or a cloud architect okay so uh, guys do you have any other question or queries uh, you can open your uh, channel and uh, you can directly speak to us so at this moment i am just we are waiting for this installation so i am right. just sending you uh, the a one small survey uh, everyone is going to find a small survey uh, form on your screen and it says just five questions are there single choice question if it will be very helpful for us to understand you and your requirement uh, in a better way i'm just launching uh, the survey and uh, please uh, uh, answer the question only five question is going to just take one or two minutes yes nikhil there is very much scope of cloud computing in startup area because most of the startups are working in domain of ml apps and everything which requires a background of computing data as well as the storage data so cloud play the vital role for startups because if you want to host an app you would require a star cloud services can't forget about me taken on pre yes i have already shown you i have already shown that uh, we are waiting for this i already showed you by logging into one of the servers kaushal so we waiting for the queries just yeah uh, i believe kaushal has just tried a little part uh, so that's why okay. <laughs> yeah yeah fine, fine fine no issues because we have already shown that how we connect to the server using ms csc or the remote net friends any other queries well again smita this will depend on what api you are using each and every one has a different format so that can be done accordingly it cannot be done arbitrarily but it can be yes each and every one has an api which can be a, okay i want to do the certification or co see i would again say that 
if you are working for databases on sql which is a proprietary of microsoft you should go for microsoft azure but ideally aws certification is which i recommend aws has a different certifications like certified certified solution architect certified developer certified system operation administrator devop engineer aws see nikhil what i personally suggest is you do online or offline unless and until you get a practical knowledge it won't be useful everybody has or knows theory but if you are unable to deploy a cloud when and where required it won't be helpful so better is practice and go for a mode where you understand everything rather than just following the theory part okay how is your private cloud platform different from other cloud platform see it's not about difference it's between getting the complete access in aws we have a limitation where in private cloud the complete cloud can be taken care by the owner if he wants to destroy delete modify whatever can be done from can be done from the cloud users perspective in aws we have a limited resources available what are the separate well koshal has a query interesting query but see as i said you can always go for a testing thing but unless and until you have a pro proven person who understands the requirement it it becomes very difficult what you can do is you can try running it in a local environment then plan to deploy it and regarding the penalties if yes if you have signed an sla with the client you are liable for to pay the penalties and see at times when we speak of software and deployments when we speak deploy an os in a local environment and a virtual environment there might be a difference so nobody can guarantee you that there won't be any issues but yes we can handle it properly guys any other queries uh, sir uh, smita has a query like he, she wants yeah. to know that, that see yeah. big data of course there's a different concept but can be integrated with cloud because to computing the huge resources we can use take care of cloud but again the resources which we would require to compute it would be on a higher side <coughs> see smita what i can do is i can take this on offline and can share you the link where you can get the complete details because at times what happens is when we speak speak of big data analytics joins in so we have adobe analytics cloud and different formats so i can share you that detail yeah uh, hi smita uh, we are going to continue this discussion maybe uh, another weeks times uh, from now and uh, uh, we are also continuously publishing uh, articles on our blog so as you are registered with us you are going to get notification about all this blog article and definitely i have uh, taken a note of this uh, particular question and about that we are going to publish an article and we are going to share you the details with you and by the time we know the big data yes. needs to be integrated with cloud in a professional manner yeah yeah sir if i want to open a cyber security startup and i want to save my client data safe and secure so is cloud okay nikhil i'll ask you this question differently for assuming don't go for a cloud computing but just if you want to keep your client's data safe what will you do nikhil can you unmute yourself so we can just have a yes sir yeah nikhil so uh, ab, for example assuming you are not using your data on a cloud but you are using on a local repository or a local server how will you protect that hello sir you are not audible to me ha acha nikhil main aapse puch raha hu for example aapka jo client ka data hai aap apne local machine pe ya local server pe kis tarah se safe rakhenge hello हेलो निखिल माई वॉइस इज ऑडिबल यस सर निखिल आई जस्ट आस्किंग यू दैट फॉर एग्जाम्पल हाउ वुड यू टेक केयर ऑफ योर क्लाइंट डेटा वेन यू आर यूजिंग इन अ लोकल रिसोर्स राधर दैन अ क्लाउड एनवायरमेंट सर एक्चुअली कैसा है कि जैसे कुछ कंपनीज है जिन्होंने अपना डेटा मतलब दिया हुआ है कि इतना इतना डेटा है इसको आपको यानी जैसे ये मेरी कंपनी जैसे कोई भी कंपनीज है वो मेरे से पूछे कि ये चीज कहाँ पे सेव है तो मैं वो सब जो डेटा है जो कंपनी का जो मेरे पास डेटा रखा हुआ है कुछ 
कॉलेजेस है उनका एक लिस्ट दी हुई है मेरे पास कॉलेज लिस्ट है रोल नंबर लिस्ट है फिर उनके पर्सनल डिटेल्स है तो वो वो जो डेटा है उसको सेफ कैसा रखना मैं ये पूछना मैं समझ मैं वही आपसे पूछा देखो फॉर एग्जांपल क्या होता है व्हेन वी स्पीक क्लाउड इज जस्ट एन एक्सटेंशन ऑफ अ रिमोट कंप्यूटर आप जो लोकल कंप्यूटर पे काम कर रहे हैं सेम थिंग इज अवेलेबल ऑन अ डिफरेंट फॉर्मेट ऑन अ रिमोट लोकेशन व्हेन वी स्पीक ऑफ अ क्लाउड द क्रिटिकल एस्पेक्ट इज टू टेक अ बैकअप ऑफ द क्लाउड वो बैकअप तो ठीक है ना सर उनके क्लाउड में वो चीजें स्टोर रहेगी जैसे उनको कभी भी वो चीजें एक्सेप्ट करनी है जैसे उनका एक क्लाउड right. बना हुआ है जिसमें वो चीजें सेफ है ठीक है ठीक वो चीजें सेफ है और उनको कभी भी वो चीजें एक्सेस करनी है जैसे कभी बाई चांस उनके उनके सिस्टम से वो डेटा उड़ गया और right. उनको कभी वो चीज एक्सेस करनी है और जैसे क्लाउड right. ऐसी जैसे क्लाउड में हैकिंग हो सकती है क्या बस ये मेरा क्वेश्चन था जैसे क्लाउड से कभी हैकिंग हो गया यानी उनका डेटा कभी बाहर एक्सेस हो गया यानी कोई अनऑथराइज एक्सेस हो गया तो मेरे को यही पूछना था कि जैसे वो डेटा जो है वो सेफ और सिक्योर कैसे रहे देखो आइडियली डेटा सिक्योरिटी के लिए व्हाट दे कैन यूज इट दे कैन यूज समथिंग कॉल्ड एनक्रिप्शन ऑफ डेटा ओके अगर डेटा एनक्रिप्टेड है तो आप उसका बैकअप भी लेके रखेंगे तो आपके यूजर के अलावा कोई भी उसको एक्सेस नहीं कर पाएगा सो इनक्रिप्शन इज द पार्ट वेर यू कैन यू नो कीप योर डेटा सेफ सो अपार्ट फ्रॉम यूजर नो बडी एल्स वुड बी एबल टू एक्सेस इट ये अमर आपने सही कहा है बिकॉज अज्यूर एंड ईच एंड एवरी वेब सर्विसेज ऑफर बैकअप सर्विसेज इवन अमेजन ऑल्सो ऑफर द बैकअप सर्विसेज फॉर एस थ्री Google has also started providing the backup services, and we have certain st- startups which are providing data storage as a service. Guys, any other queries? Uh, hi everyone, we have uh, given you a, a, a polling or survey. If it's uh, if, if okay. please, it will be very helpful if you can just answer the questions. Okay, everyone, I believe uh, we have uh, no. Uh, it's more than one hour. We have. Uh, Uh, done uh, all these things and uh, uh, definitely we are going to come back with uh, more uh, fruitful and interesting cloud computing uh, details uh, of webinar details and in next coming weeks time and definitely we are going to contact you and we uh, wish to have you on this uh, same uh, uh, no uh, webinar session on cloud computing and uh, uh, please share your details means what are the things that you want to know there is a query or doubt section uh, in your uh, account inside speed for career please share your uh, queries and uh, we are going to come up with all the details uh, in the next uh, presentation or next webinar on cloud computing so uh, thank you very much uh, for uh, giving us this uh, valuable time vishal sir thank, thank you, you very friends. much uh, thank you very much uh, for uh, being with us today and uh, yes uh, so we are going to close this session and uh, have a nice day thank you very much everyone for uh, joining uh, with us today thank you thank you everyone